Hi, so in this example I'm going to show you how to extract the page sizes to a report with this software Rapid PDF Count. Now you first need to install the software, you can run it in trial mode to start with to test it out. In this example I'm going to run it on two files, this is the CSV output from the software. You can also see if you scroll across when you run it you can see the page sizes per file as well in the software itself. So to start from scratch your software will load up like this. Now you're going to set up options. Now I want to set the generate page size reports folder. So I'm going to set it to this example folder here. So you can either just cut and paste it in or you can browse to the folder. And I'm going to need to check these options here. So I want page size counting, detail per page and totals only. So this would just output a totals only file. If this was unchecked, it would do the totals only, but also it would do other reports like per page CSV file, things like that. So I'm going to just do totals only for this example. Click save and exit. So that's now set up to run. We've got a couple of files here. I'll show you on one file first, so you can see the page sizes what have been output for that file. So I'm going to click page count files in list. Now it's created the report file here. So I double click on that. Now this uh, PDF file, I know that it's all A4. If I open the PDF file here, I can tell from the bottom left that every page is exactly the same size. And I've got nine pages. So that's what it's output in the report. If I scroll across, I can see nine times A4 in the page size column. Okay. So now I'm going to close that. I'm going to add another file. Now this file is a lot different, it's got different page sizes in it. Click yes. So this will do exactly the same as before, but now it's run on both files. So if I scroll across, I can actually see what's in this other file. So it's mainly US letter, but there are some exceptions to that. Now click on sizes report. I can see that it's output as per software and it's got total two files there so you can run it on a batch list of thousands of files and get all the information you need as to what type of paper you're going to need and that's it give it a try